Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today in What The Hey, I am once again reacting to yet another requested video. Today's video request comes from Scott O'Dawkins, so hello to you and thank you so much for requesting the video. The video in question that I'm checking out today is Every Line on the Island of Sodor Explained, Seasons 1-7, through 7, Sodor Explained, which was uploaded on January 22nd of 2021. The video duration is 53 minutes and 21 seconds, and the video description contains descriptions of each branch line and includes the music titles. The video itself was uploaded by The Unlucky Tug, so thank you to you for sharing and uploading your content. Like with all my reaction videos, if there's something in the video that I find might disturb someone to some degree, I'll be sure to mention it in the video description, so feel free to check that out before watching the rest of the video. Also, for the sake of this video, I'm definitely going to be cutting down the reaction by a lot. I'm going to do my best to include the best commentary and video parts, so it's definitely not gonna be 53 minutes, at least I don't think it is. If you want to watch the entire original video, feel free to do so. I always include the links to the videos, so feel free to check that out if you want to. But with all of that out of the way, let's actually get to watching the video itself. Hello, YouTube. Hi. I am very happy to present you a awesome. video that I have had in the works for some time now. Gotcha. In this video, I'm going to walk you all through my map of the island of Sodor, cool. as presented in the TV series. I'm sure this took the so island long. The of Sodor is where Thomas and all the engines live, and it has a railway that spans from coast to coast called the Northwestern. It is a part of the British well, Isles, I like the music. technically a part of England, off the northwest coast near the Lake District, with rail connections at Barrow and Furness. Hmm. Thomas's creator, Wilbert Audrey, infamously spent years filling in his map of Sodor. The first incarnation dates back to 1950, I love history. This and he is continually awesome. this worked is really on it until his death in 1997. The amount of detail and lore present on this map is absolutely astounding. I'm not Audrey a cartographer, so I'm sure that's Audrey. correct. The TV series sticks to Audrey's map somewhat, but changed a lot of things. Hmm. Around season three or so, they stopped sticking to the map entirely and hmm. just kind of did their own thing. Hmm. And one of my favorite time waster hobbies is trying to map all of these TV locations out and how everything is connected via railway lines. <sighs> there are many versions Whoa. of the quote-unquote canon TV series map out there. We have the crappy Sam Wilkinson map yeah, from 2014 accurate. that, that does tries not to cram look everything good. from every era of the show but that's and the cool. books into one. I'm sure it took so much work. time. Then you got this one from Japan that literally shows stuff like this on it. I'd yeah. I don't and know. We have this very know. recent map from 2020 that's a weird mix of CGI series and railway series. All of them are all a little different from each other, but they all make the same crucial mistake. They use Audrey's map and just add TV crap on top of it. The True. TV series made it very clear that the map the show stuck to is not the same as Audrey's in the very first episode I wonder when they why showed Nafford as the big station instead of Tidmouth. So why? using Audrey's map as a basis is just silly because the TV series never stuck to it to begin with. Ain't that I've a little disrespectful? Map, and I have consistently worked on it for over a year now, Dang. and I'm going to walk you all through it. This but dude. Before we begin, oh. let's keep a few things in mind. One, this is predominantly a classic series map. That's seasons one through seven, with some hit in so railway series elements seasons. sprinkled in to fill gaps where necessary. So railway series only things like the Coldy Fell, or CGI only things like the Arlesdale Railway, or Ulstead Castle, or Blue Mountain Quarry, mm. will not be featured. As far as I'm concerned, the classic series, the railway series, and the CGI series are all totally different canons and stick to very I would think maps. that's correct. That Two, seems correct. While I did what I could to include everything from seasons one through five on this, there are a few things here and there I had to retcon to make this make any sense. The biggest retcon was Rusty to the Rescue. I will always hate the idea that the Narrow Gauge Railway stretches all the way to the mainland, and since it's never been really alluded to since, the music I did not is feature awesome. that. So before you say, oh, you forgot this set that appeared for one shot in one scene only, yes, I'm aware. But this mm. map will continue to evolve over time. It's so and I'm impressive. I'm sure people will point out things on this that will make me reconsider some things, which is totally fine, and I welcome that feedback. This is really just where I am right now with it. And lastly, and this is something that I even struggled with, you just have to accept that some locations change in appearance from season to season for any of this to work. Brendam Docks, Farquhar Quarry, Wellsworth, and the Hackenbeck Tunnel are all some of the biggest culprits of always changing how they look 
every season. Oh. This is all just meant to be fun, and really is just my own headcanon for all this stuff. That's funny. I'm in no way saying any of this is fact. If you disagree, that's totally fine. And I'd love to see other people's takes on this map oh. as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. There is a lot to unpack here. Clearly. So let's start with the main line, oh my word. which is depicted on the map in red. This is insane. I'm sure this took so much work, but it's so well, cool. I also have a rule of how to tell the sets apart, and it's the number of tracks seen on them. Oh the my word. The main line is usually three tracks, with a couple exceptions. Two tracks is a branch line. I would lose my marbles. And one track is either a tail end of a branch line in a rural area, or strictly a goods line. Any set we see with three tracks is very clearly the main line. That's so as we crazy. all know, the big station at the start of the line in the TV series is Knapford. It's the harbor that features in seasons one. There's so four. much lore Stone to this. Stone from the Farquhar Quarry is brought here, as seen in Train Stops Play and Special Attraction. The Flying Kipper is also consistently collected from here. As we can see very clearly in season one and in season two concept That's art, so cool. the harbor is behind the station in the distance. A little ways up is the bridge that crosses over the old harbor. So cool to Cross see all the, the backgrounds. River Elves, and we start approaching the second station. That map's Lower so Tidmouth. impressive. That's so Lower cool. Tidmouth is a stop for local trains only. The express does not stop here. The railway's coaling plant is at Tidmouth, and it has changed appearance a couple times since its introduction, notably gaining a huge loading ramp in Whoa. season six. It is that a thing that, that actually the happens in real life? That's the cool. engines is located at Tidmouth, where the majority of them are all stationed. Beyond Tidmouth, the line starts to curve east and goes into the countryside. In this sect of the countryside is Henry's Tunnel. Henry's Tunnel is depicted on the west Henry's. of Sodor before Vickerstown on Audrey's map. For some reason, Ellsbridge was changed to be the junction station for Thomas's branch line, replacing Knapford. Hmm. I have literally no idea why. Yeah, I don't either. I guess they did this because they made Knapford hmm. the big station, so they Maybe. needed another station to be the I junction. would not be able why to keep Knapford track of all this. Why just be both is beyond me. Shortly after Crosby is the Girder Bridge over a cutting that Henry and Gordon were stopped by a cow. Henry is halted here. I thought that was a dog for a second. Back to Crosby. After that bridge is the ever picturesque viaduct crossing uh, yes. the river Riag? Rag? Rag. Re Rach? The viaduct I don't know. is always consistently shown to be before Wellsworth in the show. See, are it's some of these places the actually legit? I doubt it, but I don't know. Inexplicably, two tracks instead of three. Gordon crosses the viaduct coming from Knapford and then stops at Wellsworth, whereas in Season 2, he goes through Wellsworth in the same direction and then reaches the viaduct in the direction of Crosby. See, maybe the all the changes are because Don't they know just forgot. Fun, but either way, it confirms that it is a stop for the Express, but only when it is traveling eastbound for Vickerstown. Because that's After possible. Wellsworth, they might have just the forgotten. There's a crossing here, and then the tracks split off. Hmm. Towards the bottom of the hill, the line crosses over the River Mara, and then passes over a crossing at the signal box for Marin. Hmm. It was at this crossing that Arthur crashed into Duck on his first That day. looked very After horrible. That, we approach Maron. Oh my word. Maron is where Thomas hit the buffers and where James smashed the tar wagons. It changes the appearance drastically hmm. in season six with a curved platform, and I personally prefer that version. The Express does not stop here. That's I cute. Think. I like the, the design for that. The three seasons very weirdly take place entirely west of Maron. And the east of Sodor isn't really explored such a until big map. the Scarlet Weaver oh my is word. introduced. So what comes after Maron is from really Disney. Hello. Guess. The main line does cross over the huge river Hawan Ab, so I put the suspension bridge here. Hmm. After that is Kronk and Kildan. Kronk. Both are stations that have never appeared in the show. Kronk has technically as a tiny little country station, and I'll get into that in a bit. This is obviously not a mainline station. Is that so how they did everything? Here. That's this is where so I start cool. To draw from it always map just looks so small. Gaps. The iOS book talks about how Kronk and Kildane are pretty busy center towns on Sodor. Wow, they Kildane have is literal the information for the on lines, each so it has the a big engine facility, as well as a ballast plant and a motor rail terminal. This stretch after Baladrin is weirdly vast and has nothing on it on Audrey's map. Why so are they specific to the different engines? I like to think Henry's Henry forest is somewhere forest? around here. It would make sense for a huge hmm. forest to be in an area that's not super populated. We pass by the ruins of Thorkell's castle and start heading towards Crowley's Gate. That must Gate. be like Up historically ahead is a accurate to, the to stone something. Stone cutting and transfer yard for the Scarlowy Railway. Hmm. I don't think this area of Sodor has really ever been touched on in the show. It's just unknown it's just territory. There. It's just Nothing like but a long stretch got that makes Vickerstown the station it's on like the faraway part of the island. Area 51. The There's something out there, but we don't know what it is.
Vickerstown Station is never clearly shown in the series that until looks so CGI. Cool. It is only briefly seen here in this one shot from Escape. Hmm. So that is the main line. Oh my word. But believe it or not, that's actually one of the more simplistic lines on this Oh map. my word. Let's transition back to the west side oh. and now talk about Thomas's branch line. I'm sure that's very complicated. That's so cool. I like the transitions. That's really nice. But before I get into the junction, let's talk about We're that going first. backwards. I had to actually check this and believe it or not, Thomas is only seen traveling to Natford with Annie and Clarabelle once in all only of seasons one, one through five. Season wow. six onwards, he's seen consistently traveling out of Natford. Hmm. The way I see it, the service starts at Tidmouth, travels south, and turns onto the branch line. But on and the first return south. journey, Thomas goes to Natford and then back up to Farquhar. Huh. And for the rest of the day, he alternates between the two every other return journey. That's His very last service terminates at Tidmouth. Just a little ways down the line is the first level crossing. After that is what I call the intro bridge, aka the bridge that appears in the intro mm. of every episode. The line curves northeast and approaches Dryaw. I like that name for it, Dryaw the intro bridge. is the airfield station. Once the main line was built to Natford and the bigger harbor was constructed so behind many it, harbors? this one fell into disrepair. It only makes sense that the goods station mm. would be placed right where the goods line connects with the main. Mm. It's a station that exists for goods to be brought and unloaded. And Man, as stated I would in never Thomas gets even bumped, recognize Thomas doesn't the... actually stop here. Wow. He just carries on right through. Hmm. Right after Ells Bridge is, of course, the Ells Bridge itself, crossing the River Ells. Thomas went fishing here once. The road oh, runs alongside episode, the railway yes. for a short while. The one Just where he after had the bridge is this bit him? of curved uh, yes. line with a buffer stop, a.k.a. the loop line. Oh. I was switched off the main line oh. onto the loop. The I had loop. to go all round and back again. As shown in James and the Coaches wow. and Whistles and Sneezes, sometimes local trains are diverted along Thomas's line from Napford. The double track allows them to pass Thomas without either having to wait at a passing loop. Mm. From this point on, the line just continues into the rural countryside. After Maithwaite, the line climbs some more as it weaves up the hills towards the heart of Sodor. We pass by the beautiful water mill, and then through some river marshland oh, where the, the ever windmill. iconic windmill is. Yeah. Terence's field isn't far from here. Once we pass that, we're in Hackenbeck Tunnel. See, On I'm not familiar tunnel, with some of the stuff, but Thomas like the imagery cottage. is really nice. It's a little crossing ahead with Because I can gates. connect that. And just after that is Hackenbeck. Hackenbeck. And I'm saying that the unnamed station everyone says is Toyrek is actually Hackenbeck. Farquhar. Farquhar, Farquhar is where Thomas' Farquhar? service usually Hello? terminates. At Farquhar, there are sidings for goods and a stone cutting shed for trucks Far from the Farquhar Quarry. Farquhar Quarry, Far if we quarry past wow. The station and go left, the line will become a short tramway where Mavis stuck. Not far after that is the bridge where Toby tightrope. Oh my the word. The line starts to wind and climb as it traverses through the hills. Why mm. they built a car ferry that could carry only one wagon at a time oh across it and didn't just build a bridge first is beyond I've me. I've never but, seen you know, that. Typical backwards soda. You finna die. The line crosses oh, no. over the dirt road to the quarry, and it is here that Thomas was stopped by a policeman. The track then curves east and goes through a rocky gorge until finally arriving at the Farquhar Quarry. Farquhar, Farquhar Quarry, quarry also that known is a as mouthful. Central Island Quarry, is where Mavis works. The line continues past Farquhar passes the junction to the lead mine where Thomas fell down a mine. The line continues across the road to try and into the heart of Sodor, past the lonely signal box, which was also serviced by the Mid-Sodor Railway. Toby is note, probably one of my favorite Toby characters. Bertram. The area was reopened and turned into a tourist exhibit. Since it is accessed by only Thomas's branch line, hmm. Thomas and Toby helped with the reconstruction. Hmm. Bertram stays here and runs back and forth here on a section of track. Is that a carousel or something? No that actual looks cool. link to the Scarlowy Railway, hence why we don't see yeah, it. Yeah, it is. Again. If we go left at the junction, the line will continue to climb hmm. north until we reach the ruins of Ulfstead Castle. Yeah, this That's is different cool. to the CGI one. Different cameras. Whoa, yeah. This was also reopened to tourism along with the gold mine. Huh. And that, my friends, is the entirety of Thomas's branch Just line. one branch so line for Thomas. So let's travel all the way kind back of... to Tidmouth now wow. and talk about Duck's branch line, a.k.a. the Little Western. Hmm. Oh, I like that music for that. that. The transitions are really well done. If you want beach and sun, then the Little Western is the place to come to. And I'm going to be a bit daring here and say that this little station oh, in so Season cute. 7 is Arlsberg. Aww. I don't know what the wiki calls I it. I want to go there. I think they call it Suttery or something. 
Cool. But to me, it makes sense as a station on Duck's line. We never actually see a station called Arlsberg in the show. Hmm. And this is a model series hmm, map, that, so the Arlsdale Railway so isn't cool. canon to it. So, f*** it. This is Arlsberg. Who Since cares? Since the station yeah. only has one platform on a siding, I like to think Arlsberg is a goods-only station for goods coming in from the harbor. Hmm. Similar to Tory Rec on Thomas's line. And hmm. since Callan is the Arlsberg West stand-in, then they both must be on the West Coast. Maybe. There's a loop here at the castle that Those crosses Those sets the are so well done. Now that's the end of Duck's line. Okay, However, not that long. the tracks don't end here. Are we in a coffee shop now? Okay, so now this is a huge is change that Arthur? I Maybe? recently made to the map. Arthur's line is the one that I'm runs I'm guessing that's Fishing Arthur. Village. And like the Sam Wilkinson map, I originally had that as the branch to Norrinby. However, All these I things. just wasn't happy with it. The Fishing Village in the Classic series is in Harwick. Wow. Okay, so here's my head. How would you even the know what side is a fairly stuff is recent on? Development. In Season 3, they finished construction on Duck's line, and that opened with services to Callan. Mm -hmm. However... Work continued up the coast. Oh By God. season five, they had reached the fishing village oh, at Harwood. That's so cool. However, the low number How of trains to Laos didn't really demand. That's my own. question, I guess. So available engines would just be sent up when a train was due. It passes a second lighthouse. Hmm. Along this stretch is the track with the pier rail Thomas fell off coming from the fishing village. The final and most that's northern hilarious. station on Sodor is Harwick. So now, let's go back down to Arlsberg Harbor and talk about Toby's, Toby's old world. Yeah. Let's go. I love the choice of music. But I disagree. That's just Brenda. Arlsberg Harbor was never seen in the show until the CGI series. Oh. And as I already stated, it's a different canon to the classic mm. series. Whoa. The line started that up the harbor and face. traveled along the river Arl. That was it a little scary. Not gonna lie. Windmill. That means Toby's old railway would have connected to Thomas's line, which is just so dumb to me. And it creates so many continuity issues with season one. So, screw it. It's on Toby's line. Yeah. The line yeah. continues up the mountain until it reaches the little village in Toby and the Flood. This is the middle station on the line, and it has a passing They route. went through I a flood? I wasn't sure what okay. to name this village, so I just pulled from Audrey's map of the Arlesdale and called it Marthwaite. The line finally halts at Arlesdale End, That's where so Toby's cool. shed is located. They After need to the make line him closed a better in season shed. one, Topham bought Toby, and this little line fell into disrepair. Mm. It wasn't until season five when Oliver, traveling from Callan, was accidentally switched onto this line and crashed into Toby's old oh, shed no. that Topham considered reopening it. Oh, Off no. screen, at some point, Topham bought the line and reopened it. Yay. And Toby was relocated to his old stomping Yay. grounds. From season five onwards, oh. it seems Toby stays in his old shed at Arlesdale oh. End instead of Tidnip. Where did you I find have to this say, music? Edward's line in the show is the most consistent with Audrey's vision hmm. and was the easiest to piece together. I wonder why that I is. I love that season two consistency. This is, of course, the location of Brendam Docks. Hmm. Brendam Docks is massive in the TV yeah. series. This is the this docks is that one appears I actually in seasons two and three and five onwards. Like I said earlier, it's a location that is never consistent in appearance. So you just have this to This is one of the ones that I, I recognize. I personally love the season two version of Brendam. Alrighty, now let's transition over to the Peel Godred branch. This is yeah. going to be a fun one. Is it spooky? Is so my vision of the branch of the show so. is wildly different to how it's portrayed in Audrey's universe. In the Railway series canon, this line is electrified and Ooh. is run by a fleet of electric engines. That's cool. They're never seen in the books and are only mentioned once. That's in the TV series, the Peel Godred line is a single track goods line. Just that like is on Audrey's spooky. map, the line branches off at Kill Lane and heads north through the valley between the two mountain Cronk ranges. Cronk Abbey, the first let's stop go! Is this station, the Cronk we see in the show. Further up the line is that part that runs through the spooky wooded area mm -hmm. in season spooky. five. Beyond that is Old Bailey's station, where Henry was spooked. Yeah. In my head cannon, this crossing is actually a crossing for the now abandoned mid Sodor Railway, mm. akin to how the Cambrian and the Welsh Highland cross over each other in Wales. Oh. I know that track is standard gauge, but I will get further into that in a bit. So I'm guessing that this is, is all based off of real lines. Railway. And then which beyond is cool. that, Ooh, is the viaduct that was closed and haunted Henry. In Stepney Gets Lost, 
Stephanie took a wrong turn near Kildane and ended up oh, here, no. breaking nearly met his fate. Oh, no. Let's finish off the standard gauge stuff by looking Scary. over the final oh, branch Lord. line on this map. Whew. The one to Kirk Ronan. Hmm. We're going to a coffee shop again. I love coffee. The Kirk Ronan branch line is a recent development and gradually descends as it goes towards the ocean. Mr. Jolly's Chocolate? Mr. Jolly's Chocolate oh. Factory, very inconveniently located at the bottom of a hill. I originally had this at the bottom of Gordon's Hill near Marin, mm. but I thought that it was stupid for one of the main line's three tracks to just end at the chocolate factory. Isn't that so in uh, on one of Paul's line. vids, uh, PC Adventures, Mr. Castle. Jolly's Chocolate? Now I think I get sense. that. Maybe, maybe this not. This is the castle Alicia Bati performed mm. at. The line terminates here at the beautiful Canopy Station. This is where Gordon infamously uh, dies. And that, my friends is the entirety of the Standard Gauge Railway Network. The first stop on the line is Crosney Kern. Crosney Kern. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to say that either. that runs along a retaining wall, and where Duncan derailed himself how? rock and rolling. Peter Sam left the refreshment lady behind here. Oh no. Leaving Lakeside, the line Not goes the around refreshment the lake lady. and traverses over the viaduct before reaching a Y. In the TV series, the oh slate line word. is high in the mountains, Whoa. and was also serviced by both the Scarlowy and the Mid Sodor. That's a Back little at bit Scarlowy of a climb. Station, there are two tracks that go in different directions. As the Coley Fell Railway does not exist That's in the TV so series, cool. the Mid Sodor was the main method of transport through Sodor's big mountain range. Mm. At this station was the main sheds where Smudger was turned into a generator. Smudger, and where oh Duke my word, I saw that. Yeah, I've heard a lot about that. Abandoned and left That's very the scary. The line would continue west <laughs> to be an engine the and then a generator and crossed over it. After that, there's a junction. I tried my best to keep this part of the Whoa. line as accurate to the Mid Sodor map That's shown cool. in the show, That's cool. which is just the Isle of Wight railway map flipped upside down. Oh, is that it? And that, my friends, is the TV map oh, of my the word. island of Sodor. The amount of time I have spent piecing together yeah. this thing is embarrassing. A lot. But what can I say? I love this shit. The fact there are so many inconsistencies just makes it that much more fun to try and piece together. It's like a challenge. If everything mm. on Sodor was perfectly straight-laced and impeccable, there'd be mm. no fun in trying to map it all out. So it's Is not on this map. Just like how I Thomas retcon Rusty friends? being able to travel to Vickerstown, I retcon him being able to travel to here, too. Mm. The three bridges set. Yeah, Whoa. I have no idea, guys. So that's it, folks. Mm. I hope you all wow. found this video informative. And I do welcome all of your feedback. If you have any idea of where to place some of the I places do not. I just mentioned, I do not. or have a completely different workaround, please mm. do say so below. I love discussion on this topic. Perhaps one day I'll make a video like this for the CGI series map. Granted, that's a whole can of worms I'm not sure I want to even open. Oh so no. we'll see. The link to the full res JPEG of this map oh, is in the cool. description. Oh, that's cool. You can look at Feel it. Feel free to do what you want with it. Mm. I will see you all next time. That's so cool. That's very well done. I'm gonna enjoy the music for a few seconds. That's good music. It's groovy. It's freeform jazz. Okay, there's clearly so much to talk about. I wonder how the audio for explaining everything was done because it sounded like it was just one take. I'm sure it wasn't, but it was really well done. It fit really well together. I wanted to mention this earlier, but I also thought it was cool how the unlucky Tug added visuals and clips from the actual show and stuff to like back up their facts because I would have had no idea whether or not any of that was true. Number three, and this is just a question. Is the unlucky tug sane because I would never have had the mental capacity to remember and understand any of that? I've said it before, I'm not someone who really watches Thomas and Friends, I'm not someone who's like very deep into the history and the lore of it, but that was still very interesting. I am a fan of history, so seeing how all of that worked together was still really cool and I was engaged in it, even though it was stuff that I don't usually like look for and research in my own time. I also just like seeing the different visual clips from the actual show, like I never really understood how the sets were made, but seeing the one picture that was featured a couple times, um, and hopefully I show it, um, is like the set and then you actually see like a real person in size comparison to the actual set and that just kind of blew my mind because I never really thought about that. But yeah, overall 10 out of 10, I have no complaints, that was really neat. 
so yeah that's essentially the reaction video so if you have anything that you would like for me to react to let me know and I'll get to watching it as soon as I can so thank you so much for watching. Bye!